What's going on guys? Let me hit you a little deck tech. Speedy and I agreed to make each other budget decks for Christmas and me being the complete idiot I am waited too long to buy the deck. So it is officially the after Christmas budget deck special. Um, I tried to make a deck for Speedy but I, I made a deck that I would like to play as well. So it's, I don't know if it's necessarily a Speedy deck but those of you who've watched the videos, watched Speedy play, uh, he knows, he loves him some mana rocks. So, I made him a mana rock infused Kevin deck, I guess. So here's the commander. We got young Sol Kanar the Swamp King. He is one of my absolute favorite cards from back in the day. He is a legendary. I think he's a barbarian, or oh, he's a demon. Um, as per um, errata. He is a... Two colorless Grixis, so he's two colorless, one blue, one black, one red. He's a legend, he's the commander, he has Swamp Walk, and he, whenever you cast a black spell, you gain one life, and he's a 5-5 five, five with that sexy Richard Kane Ferguson art. So that's where we're at with this bad boy. Uh, being a budget deck, <laughs> this land package is pure sex appeal. We got 12 basic islands. 13 basic swamps and 12 basic mountains. I know I'm lighting the world on fire with this mana base, but it is a budget deck. And so that's what we're doing. <laughs> you gotta be budget if you're making a budget deck. So here comes some of the cards. We got Rakdos Locket, Shockingly, Demir Locket, Is It Locket? Wait a minute. Then we got. Rakdos Cluestone. Wait a minute, guess what's next? Demir and Is It Cluestones. Now I like these because these are all mana rocks and they're gonna be able to draw you cards later in the game. So like if you're if you're just if you're flooded with whatever, you can just sack them and draw cards. So that's why I like them. We got Ubiquitous Soul Ring. It's, it's, I made it a budget deck, even though Soul Ring, for some unknown reason, is really expensive. I mean, everyone wants them, but they print so many of them. I can't believe it's still so expensive. Grixis, uh, Obelisk of Brick Grixis. Tapping for all those Grixis colors. And Hedron Archive to round up the Mana Rock package. So we got nine Mana Rocks in there. Um, I made it. It's a zombie token deck, but it's also a little Voltron y. So I got some cards that are only for Solkanar. Uh, those would be, well you can put on anything, but these help Solkanar draw you cards. Uh, Mask of Riddles, Sleeper's Robe, Rogue's Gloves, Mask of Memory, and Helm of the Ghast Lord. These are going to, you can put them on, if you put Helm of the Ghast Lord on Solkanar, you're drawing cards and making people discard. Seems good to me. Oh no. Here are some of the Amass cards. This is a new uh, mechanic from the old um, War of the Spark. We got Commence the Endgame. Uh, can't be countered, draw some cards, and then make the Amass. Uh, Enter the God Eternals. Lazotep Plating. This is actually a really good card. I should start using that more myself. Bleeding Edge. Here comes some, I guess you'd call it removal. We got only go for the throat and recoil. Recoil is just in there for like planeswalkers and things that like black has a hard time. Enchantments that black has a hard time dealing with. We got some draw. We got Ona's Grace. Again, th I think that retrace is, is a really good mechanic, especially in this deck. If you're going to be drawing some cards, being able to draw a single card, but then late in the game, if you've got nothing but lands in your hand you don't need, to be able to recast it for the retrace cost seems good. Sign in Blood, Serum Visions, Think Twice. Again, another, you get more value out of it. You, hell, even if you cast it, turn two, draw a card, turn three, draw another card. That's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Alright, here comes some janky enchantments. Curse of, Disturb or Curse of Disturbance. Curse of Shallow Grave, again, just making people attack and then getting some zombie tokens for your zombie army. Dark Salvation. From Under the Floorboards. Army of the Damned. And Dreadhorde Invasion, round out like the token production of the deck. Um, get some tokens. 
going. We got Bad Moon and Zombie Infestation as well. Again, just Bad Moon giving all your zombie tokens that 1-1 one, one, and uh, hopefully making some more uh, zombies with your dead cards in your hand with Zombie Infestation. Here come some surprise cards. We got Dyna Charge and Dark Triumph. Both of them give attacking creatures 0 2 or 2 0. Again, if you have enough tokens, this might surprise somebody and you might be able to uh, sneak a kill in there with both these cards. I'm, I, I'm, thinking, about I'm thinking about taking Blood Moon out, or not Blood Moon, Bad Moon out, and putting a, uh, another one of the cards like this in there, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays. Uh, Siphon Flesh. Plague Wind, Mutilate, and Ingarak's Wake. All like board wipes and kill thingies. Uh, Siphon Flesh is going to get you the added bonus of getting you a 2 2 zombie for your troubles. Soul Canar has Swamp Walk, so we got Blanket of Night, Contaminated Ground, and Evil Presence to turn lands into swamps. So that way Soul Canar can just walk on over and be like, hey, what's up? Then we got Filth, again, giving all your creatures Swamp Walk if it's in the bin. Here come the Goons. We got Heaven Ghoul Runebinder. Gonna make you a zombie token with some of your... There's no recursion in here. So once a creature hits the bin, it's gonna be in the bin. There's no recursion here. It's gonna make you a 2-2 zombie token and then get you make everybody else a little swoller. We got... Liliana's Reaver. Again, Death Touch 4-3. If he hits, he's gonna make a dude. Loyal Subordinate, New Scrab Mob, Gary. I don't know how I feel about that new art on Gary. I like it. It's, it's okay, but this card itself is such an iconic card. And the you know the fact that they upshifted it to Uncommon, I don't know. I like this art, but the new art looks pretty sweet too. Zombie Trailblazer, giving things Swamp Walk. Vizier of the Scorpion, giving all your uh, zombie tokens things and then amassing, making a zombie token or making one bigger. Same thing with Gleaming Overseer, giving everything hexproof and menace, and making a dude and or making a dude bigger. Actually, there is some uh, there is some recursion right here, uh, but there you go, one one card of recursion. So I mean, whatever, it's exile the damn thing. Eternal Skylord, giving your things flying, and Dreadborn Twins, giving everything's trampling. Josu Vest, hopefully making a gang of zombie tokens with menace. A Lord here, Cemetery Reaper, again, exiling cards from a graveyard, not just yours, to make a dude. Seems pretty good, and given that 1-1 one, one buff. Lord of the Accursed, uh, same thing, a little Lord, and um, given everything menace. Paragon of Open Graves, again, a Lord, and then given things Death Touch, just as a uh, parlor trick, you know, in case someone wants to send something over, given one of your creatures Death Touch, seems good. Uh, two counter spells. Uh, Dissolve and Counterspell. Again, just as you're playing blue, you might as well play a Counterspell. Here comes the spice of the deck. <laughs> this is the all-time jank of the deck. We got Hoaxay. So Sulkinar here has Swamp Walk. Let's say you don't draw into any of your uh, Blanket of Nights or Evil Presence. I got Magical Hack and Mind Bend. You can change Swamp Walk to Island Walk to Plains Walk to whatever the hell walk. And then there you go. So Sulkanar is coming on over and shaking hands. But what really this card is for is uh, the surprise. Ooh, I gotcha. Is Zombie Master. Let's say you have just a gang of tokens. You got a bunch of people out. No one's playing black. And then you cast one of the Dyna Charge or Dark... Uh, whatever the hell it is. Dark Triumph. So you got that in your hand. You, you Magical Hack or Mind Bend Zombie Master into all the zombies have... Whatever the hell, walk, mountain walk, whatever. Cast Dyna Charge, make all your guys from 2 2 to 4 2, and they just slide on over and give them that Chicago handshake. Come on over with the bottle of my lord and the 12 pack of old styles. Next thing you know, your house is all tore up. Well, that's my deck tech for my budget deck for Soul Canar the Swamp King. It came in at 53 bucks, including basic land, so I think that's pretty good. Um, again, if I took Soul Ring out and put like a command tower, or any other cheap mana rock, it would be under 50 bucks. So there you go. Hopefully this deck looks really, really good. Hopefully it plays well on Friday. All right, guys. Cheers. Have a great day.